Imagine waking up to a world where your morning coffee or tea doesn't just banish your sleepiness but also tweaks your brain's very wiring. This is not sci-fi, it's science. Caffeine, a natural stimulant found in various plants, casts a much more intricate and profound impact on our brain than most of us realize. From altering mood to enhancing cognitive functions, caffeine's role transcends mere awakening. Now, let's embark on an explorative journey into the depths of our brain under the influence of caffeine. Prepare to have your perceptions challenged and your understanding of this common stimulant deepened. Caffeine, enjoyed by billions daily, is the world's most widely consumed psychoactive substance. Whether it's coffee, tea, energy drinks, or even chocolate, caffeine finds its way into our daily routines, promising a boost of energy and alertness. Caffeine's popularity hinges on its ability to combat drowsiness and improve concentration. Offices around the globe witness morning rituals centered around coffee, attesting to its almost indispensable role in our modern lifestyle. Despite its widespread use, many remain unaware of how caffeine actually affects their brain chemistry, influencing everything from mood to cognitive function. Chemically known as 1,3,7-trimethylxanthine, caffeine is a bitter substance found in over 60 plant species. It's structured to block adenosine, a neurotransmitter that promotes sleep, thereby staving off fatigue. Upon ingestion, caffeine is quickly absorbed by the bloodstream, reaching peak levels within 30 to 70 minutes. It's metabolized in the liver but can affect various organs, particularly the brain, where it has a stimulating effect. This interaction not only keeps us awake but also subtly alters our brain's natural state, leading to both beneficial and adverse effects. Caffeine primarily acts by mimicking adenosine, thereby blocking its calming effects on the brain. This results in increased neuronal firing. The brain responds by releasing neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine, which enhance alertness and attention. This increase in neurotransmitter activity boosts various aspects of brain function including mood, reaction time, and overall mental function. It's a complex interplay that makes caffeine both a valuable and potentially risky stimulant. The way caffeine manipulates these neurotransmitter systems can vary greatly among individuals, explaining why some people can drink coffee before bed and sleep soundly, while others may feel jittery or anxious after just one cup. The Good Enhanced Cognition and Mood Regular caffeine consumption is associated with several cognitive benefits. Studies indicate that it can enhance aspects of brain function such as memory, mood, vigilance, energy levels, and overall mental functioning. Moreover, caffeine has been found to elevate mood and, by extension, can temporarily ward off feelings of depression. This uplifting effect is primarily due to the increased release of dopamine, often referred to as the feel-good neurotransmitter. However, it's crucial to recognize that the mood-enhancing properties of caffeine can also lead to its misuse, as individuals may consume it to combat persistent feelings of sadness or depression, which can mask underlying conditions. The Bad Potential Risks and Downsides While caffeine is celebrated for its ability to enhance alertness and improve mood, it comes with its share of drawbacks. One of the most significant is its impact on sleep. Caffeine can delay the timing of your body clock, reduce your total sleep time as well as the quality and depth of your sleep. Moreover, caffeine increases the release of adrenaline, which can lead to increased heart rate and blood pressure, causing feelings of anxiety. These effects can be particularly pronounced in individuals sensitive to caffeine or when consumed in large quantities. The relationship between caffeine and health isn't black and white. It's influenced by individual sensitivity, the amount consumed, and even the time of day it's ingested. Caffeine dependence is a well-recognized clinical syndrome and shares some characteristics with other drugs of dependence, including withdrawal symptoms upon cessation. These can include headache, fatigue, decreased energy or activeness, decreased alertness, drowsiness, depressed mood, difficulty concentrating, irritability, and feeling foggy or not clear-headed. These symptoms can deter individuals from reducing caffeine, despite potential negative effects on their health. Understanding this can help manage consumption and mitigate withdrawal symptoms effectively, 
thereby using caffeine without adverse health consequences. Moderation is key when it comes to consuming caffeine. Health professionals often recommend limiting caffeine intake to about 400 milligrams per day, roughly the amount in four 8-ounce cups of coffee. Staying within this limit can help you enjoy the benefits of caffeine while minimizing the risks. Incorporating practices like monitoring your caffeine intake, understanding your body's response to caffeine, and adjusting consumption based on your activity levels and time of day can lead to healthier caffeine habits. Being mindful of sources of hidden caffeine such as in medications or energy drinks is also crucial. Caffeine consumption varies widely around the world, not just in quantity but in the cultural practices surrounding its intake. For instance, in Italy, espresso is a staple, often consumed quickly at a bar, standing up. In contrast, the traditional Japanese tea ceremony focuses on mindfulness and is a slow, ritualistic process. These practices show how caffeine is not just a biochemical influence on our brains, but also a significant cultural phenomenon. Understanding these cultural contexts can enrich our appreciation of caffeine and inform more respectful and informed consumption practices. As research continues to evolve, so do trends in caffeine consumption. Innovations in how caffeine is consumed are continually emerging. For instance, caffeine-infused edibles and even wearable caffeine patches are being developed, providing alternatives to traditional coffee or tea. Additionally, with a growing awareness of the health impacts of caffeine, there is a trend towards more natural and lower caffeine alternatives. Products like green tea, which offers a milder caffeine boost along with antioxidants, are gaining popularity. This trend towards health-conscious consumption reflects a broader shift in our relationship with what we eat and drink, showing a move towards more sustainable and health-conscious choices. As we wrap up our caffeinated odyssey, let's reflect on the key takeaways. From debunking myths to dissecting the intricate neurochemistry, we've journeyed through the highs and lows of caffeine's impact on our brains. Now, it's your turn to join the conversation. Share your experiences with caffeine's effects in the comments below, and don't forget to hit subscribe for more mind-boggling revelations about the science behind our everyday experiences. Until next time, stay curious and stay caffeinated.